Okay, so what I'm going to show you here today is how to set up a simple distillation. All you need to do is get two of these stands right here, as you see, along with uh, clamps. Uh, this is a clamp right here, and there is going to be two clamps on this one, okay? This is your most important clamp, as Dr. Duff would say. All right, so when we set this thing together, all we're going to do is we're going to bring this together like so, and then we're going to close this clamp. All right, so what you're doing is you're just screwing these things in, and then what we do is we do the other side. On this side, this is where we're catching the distillation. Okay? And to do that, okay, so we bring this, we bring up this device right here and close the clamp, obviously. Today's day is April 15, 2009. This is Wednesday morning, Organic Chemistry 1. Instructor, Mr. Duff. Okay, here we go. So once you set that, you're going to set this piece right here. Okay, and we saw these two pieces go in. Then this here is our distillation column. This is going to be cold by the water running through. <laughs> Correct. So then we this and that right will here. condense and the then evaporation. We're go ahead and plug it in right here. You don't understand the complexities of what we're okay. talking about. In a few minutes, he will explain step by step. Okay, so. Now we have that set up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our heater. Okay, we're going to use this device right here. Okay, it's really simple. Plugs into a wall, just right over here. Okay, and then from here we're going to take this and can you explain to us what that is? This is going to actually heat the flask, which is going to okay. sit right here, so it's going to warm this up so that it distills. Awesome. Okay, and but. To do that, we need to connect it to a power source, and this is our power source. It's sort of, How is your system? since this can't plug straight into a wall, we need this device right here to do it. And actually, this device is kind of better for doing this because it allows us to vary the temperature. So, once we get this thing in, and we set this here, we go ahead and raise up here. Pepe? Sorry, I got okay, a little then distracted. we raise it up, no problem. Show in the class. And bam, okay. But there's one other thing, and in distillation, what we find is that as our product goes, it's going to leave behind the thing with the higher boiling point. Correct. Okay? And so to know when we're starting to um, get into the thing with the higher boiling point, we're going to record the temperature. Here, and then bam, we're ready to go. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And you want to? We turn our temperature dial here. Um, to really about. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Right now we're just concerned about getting it hot. We're a bit of effort. Okay. Part two. The, the final part in assembling this apparatus is finishing the actual condenser. This is the condenser. This thing. Okay. And it works by providing cold to whatever the steam is like traveling through. So to connect this thing. We always remember that in organic chemistry, water flows uphill, meaning that we want the water to come in here and come out here, okay? To do that, we're going to make sure we connect the sink to this one right here, okay? And the last thing that we want to have happen in this experiment is to have one of these hoses just come right off because you're going to have water just shooting straight at the sink. That'd be awesome okay? though. But it's kind guys, of cool to look at, but ultimately it's just not that productive. So <laughs> what we do here is we combine, when we put this one on, it's good to use wire on both of these, okay? Just take some regular copper wire like this jazz right here, and then we're going to wrap it around. Okay, so that it's pretty tight. You don't want this thing getting away on you, that's for sure. Okay, and now we are... Ready. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and clip it. Awesome. All right. Okay, so now we're ready to distill the thing that we actually started. So right, we have our um, our crude right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up. All we, we first do is turn on the condenser. We flow the water through by turning this faucet on, and then we turn on our heat. Flip, bam, done. All right, and we can cut. So now can you please um, explain to us 
what exactly is occurring here and what's about to occur here. So oh. this is going to boil. Well, what, it's what's going to evaporate. happening is this is going to get really hot correct. into where it uh, enters Begins. into the gas phase. Correct. No, also known as steam. Well, if it's water anyway. This is something different. What we do is we. We call this the uh, gas phase. Okay. So it's going to evaporate. It's going to go up, as we know, with all things that evaporate. Correct. And since it can't come out here, it's going to have to come through here. Correct. And as it comes through here, it's going to see that these walls of this glass are really cold. Because of the so, water. Yeah. And it's going to bring those um, molecules from the gas phase the liquid into phase. the liquid phase because Great. it slows down the motion Correct. of those things to where they can stick together again. And so, then what you have is you have your distillate. That's what we call it when it comes back down into the liquid phase. It's going to condense Correct. and it's going to flow right on through here to where we capture it right here. So what we're capturing here is? The celebration! <laughs> <laughs> what exactly are we going to capture here? I'm really just doing this to show the distillation. Awesome. Okay. And uh, a lot of times it's a good idea if your distillate has a very low boiling point, then you might want to capture this in an ice bath. That means to get a container with ice in it and just allow this to dip right in there. Awesome. Okay. So take home note is when, when the faster the molecules and move you, in the gas phase yeah, so and encounter... When molecules are in the solution, they're already bumping around and bouncing. Correct. Okay? As we add heat, they bump around faster and faster Correct. until finally they bump around so fast that they no longer even stick together Correct. and they fly right out of the pot. Awesome. And, and then they encounter call, a cold front. And in that's this what case we call water. the gas phase or Correct. steam if Correct. it's water. Okay. So when it encounters a, a cold front, for instance, we got water here, uh -huh. then it will slow down the particles. And Thus, yes, when you slow it down, liquid. then they slow down to where they're not moving so fast, and they can stick together again. And right now, you can see them sticking together again, right here. See how it's flowing down? And we're, we've got some drops coming through, so this is definitely working. Now, what we need to do is make sure that we're collecting stuff at the right temperature. And it's always written in the book. Okay. So, so uh, basically, so we're, we want the liquid is not flowing through here. The liquid is not flowing through here. We got gas, and then gas, 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 gas. When it comes, yeah, this as soon as it touches front, that cold wall, it turns then, back into liquid. Yeah, and then those molecules slow down awesome. to where they just drop and fall right back down again. Okay. Great. And here's what's interesting about distillation: we can tell a lot about temperature because we know the boiling point on something. We know when we're getting what we want. So, in this case, what we want is going to happen between 49 and 52 degrees Celsius. And our current temperature is, so, well, you can't really see, but what uh, I can read from my head is about 29 degrees Celsius. Yeah, and we want it to get to 49, okay? It's not So, what we're going to do at 49 degrees is we're going to take this stuff Oil right here. winter green. And... We are going to dump it out and start collecting stuff at 49 degrees and continue until it gets to 51 degrees. Correct. So that's our range. Or 52 degrees, sorry. So our that's range our... is from 49 to 52. That's right. And that is what we're looking for? Yep, that's right. See, all compounds can be identified by their boiling point. And so if we know that that boiling point is, we know how to target it in the distillation. Awesome. And that's all we're doing right here. It okay. It's currently recording. I just want to give a shout out to my boy Philip over there representing University of Miami and Jamaica all the way. That's right. <laughs> okay. Okay, back There's over here. Three. I just wanted to emphasize one point, and that is the importance of this plant to explain why it's important. When you're distilling things, a lot of times what will happen is this stuff will start boiling up too fast and it'll just travel right up here and you're going to get all kinds of liquid. Your whole experiment is going to be ruined because the liquid here is just going to boil over and come into your product. So the only reason why that so, clamp is very important is... When that happens, what we do is we're just like, oh no, it's starting to boil over. We drop it. Drop Damn, the, the heat. heat's gone. And the fast. clamp... And we'll we did so, to. yeah, and if you didn't have the clamp there, when you let that go, all of this stuff is just going to fall. And probably, you're in all probability, you're going to start a fire. Which is awesome. Just Which kidding. is cool, as long as you're not the one on fire. Right. But, uh, just, well, if everybody else is on fire, then that's cool. Except yeah, that's cool too, you know. As long as it's medium rare, I'm always Good safety. pretty happy, you know. Tip, Michael. But, thank you. Okay. The good thing about doing a distillation is it's kind of like watching porn. 
You can always pause and you can always rewind. In this case, what we did was we took oh, our distillate, awesome. we took our distillate flask right here, and we put it in as our crude flask right here. We traded places. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is do the distillation again to make sure we catch it at the right temperature. Awesome.